Hey everybody, this is the dog and I got a quick word for you today and it's called Where's Your First Love? Um, the, the scripture that I'm going to be uh, speaking about is found in the book of Revelation chapter 2. You got to understand that the apostle John got a revelation while he was in prison for his faith. And the prison was on an island. They ex actually exiled this man to an island because of his faith and said, this is where you're going to die, basically. You stay there. Well, while John was on this island, he got a revelation. That's where the book of Revelation comes from. And it's, you know, it opens up with, you know, the glories of God. And then Jesus appears to John and says, I got a word for seven different churches. The first church being Ephesus and the last church being Laodicea. We're going to deal with the church of Ephesus. Somehow in each one of these churches, Jesus comes to the body and says, look, I got a word for you. Some were great words, some were rebukes, but every church got a word in John's day. Other people look at that and say, well, you know what? That's great. Is it just for the church as, as a body in John's day, no, the word is also aimed to us today because if we actually open up the Bible and then allow the Bible to uh, minister to us, it's for the now. It's for here and the now. So with that said, I just want to highlight on one verse of Scripture. Jesus is looking at the body of Christ and says, Neither of us, I have one thing against you. Basically, you lost your first love. And Jesus actually is trying to encourage the body, the church, to get back on board and love him the way they were when they first met Jesus. Have you kind of backed away from Christ? Like, let's say, you're, you're not close and up personal with Jesus. You're like this. Hi, Jesus. How you doing? Meaning that you're not as close to Christ anymore. And what Christ is trying to tell you as an individual is like, you're losing your first love. You used to be so close to me. You used to talk to me every day. You used to read the Bible every day. You, you were faithful going to church and you were living it. And because of life's problems, you started to drift slowly and slowly and slowly away because of one problem hitting you boom another problem hitting you boom another problem hitting you boom and suddenly you find yourself not close anymore with Jesus but further and further away what was the first loves well when you first become a Christian this is what happens you get excited about Christ and you start telling people, hey man, I started going to a church and I met this great man, his name is Jesus, he died on the cross. And all of a sudden you're testifying about him. And all of a sudden you found out that you had to be in the word of God. Man, you got to read that Bible, you know, from, from Genesis to the book of Revelation. Oh man, you were noses in that book. You were doing word studies and, and, and finding out what that Greek word meant, that Hebrew word meant. You were going into commentaries. Oh, I got to find all this stuff out. And also you were always in prayer. You were even going up to people and saying, can I pray with you? And all of a sudden they were like looking at you. Yeah, okay. So anyway, but, the, the, but things happen. And Jesus is like saying, look, I want you to re return to your first love. Will you do that? Will you return to your first love? Will you go back to praying and reading that Bible like you once did? Or are you going to just stay as far back? And then eventually the current of problems takes you even further back. And you know what happens? Jesus says, if you don't return to your first love, I'm going to take my candle away from you. That light that's in you is like, it's going to be gone. Because you're not close to Jesus anymore. Now, am I bringing a, a word of condemnation? No, I'm not. I'm trying to bring, bring a word of encouragement. The love, the word love, 
is agape. It means God's love kind of through you. If the Spirit of God is in you, then you have you should have the agape love, which means a, a love that sacrifices beyond even to your own hurt, to your own uh, pearl. That's the kind of love God had for us, the agape love. And he's like saying, hey, you lost that agape love. Now you, you just got this kind of, eh. you're doing works, I see it. But it's all for show. It's, it's not, not really, I'm not in it. So today, I want to encourage you. If you're not really serving him the way you used to, put aside the excuses, ask him for forgiveness, and uh, jump on the bandwagon in Christ and ride with Christ the chariots of fire and the Holy Spirit that you may be strong once again declaring his glory for his glory in Jesus name look I love you guys and I just want you to stop being cold and lukewarm and get on fire for you the good thing is Ephesus after they heard this rebuke by Jesus tradition says they got it right they made it right so I hope that this word challenge you to make it right and get back close to Jesus showing him your love and your sacrifice and, and, and your closeness to him with this being said I'm the dog I'm signing out love you guys bye